In the Bible, the character of Jesus may have stated some of the most kind-hearted, decent, and sometimes rational things in the whole Bible. And I think people could benefit from taking to heart some of Jesus' teachings. But the supernatural side of the Jesus story is one of the least rational and logical parts of the Bible. It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, there's plenty of other areas that don't make any sense. I mean, the supernatural parts of the Bible in general don't really make that much sense, but this belief is crucial in order to consider yourself a Christian. You can't just follow Jesus' teachings and philosophies. You can't just try to be more Christ-like. You have to believe Jesus is the Son of God or is God in human form, and that he sacrificed himself to himself so he could rise up and the rest of humanity can be forgiven for all their sins, provided you believe in and pray to this sacrificed human, which is actually God, to ask for forgiveness. It simply doesn't make any sense. I don't even understand the connection with die for your sins. What is how you... He died for your sins. Well, how does one affect the other? I, I fucking, I hit myself in the foot with a shovel for your mortgage. What? I don't, I, I don't understand the... Yeah, how does it follow? Seriously. Someone help me make sense of this. It didn't make sense to me as a kid. It doesn't make sense to me as an adult. It is the primary reason why I was never fully able to connect with religion except for the guilt side, and then that was really hard to get rid of because the Jesus story didn't make sense. And it doesn't matter how many people are so emotional when they tell me that Jesus saved them. Yeah, that, that doesn't make it make any more sense. You know, there's a huge piece of logic missing here. How did a human sacrifice forgive people of sins? Is it the logic that... God knows what it feels like to be human and what it's like to be killed for being a good person. So Jesus allows us to connect with God's human side. Even if that was the case, the trade still doesn't make any sense. How does a death, which apparently wasn't even really a real death, forgive us of sins? If Jesus is God already, why would we need to pray to Jesus in order to forgive our sins? Why couldn't we just pray to God to forgive our sins? And why would we need to believe in the Jesus story in order to have our sins forgiven? Why wouldn't someone who practices Judaism or Islam be forgiven if they asked it of God? Jesus is the only way? Yeah, make it make sense and maybe more people will latch on to it. I'm not religious. I am more of a pantheist than anything. The Bible was not supernaturally written. It was obviously written by man. But there are plenty of values, lessons, and a number of other things that can be learned from the Bible and a number of other religious books. What is your understanding, though, of how this supernatural trade is supposed to work? How does a human sacrifice translate to humans being forgiven of doing bad things? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.